guys, Tyler Hooks here. We are at NCTS round two at Northwest Hobbies and we are going to do a facility overview of the pretty awesome facility here at Northwest Hobbies. We're coming in from the mall side. Northwest is actually in a mall. Um, so we're coming in from the side that, that goes out into the mall. So when you walk in this way, the first thing that you see is their awesome crawler course off to the left. Um, they've got a full setup, you can go all around. Um, it's pretty big, for, especially for the size uh, that they've got working on here and, and all the other things that they have going on. And then here at Northwest Hobbies, we basically have a full on pro shop in here. Um, they have stuff for RTR vehicles, stuff for race vehicles, and, and we greatly appreciate the fact that they carry our products for both. So it's nice to have a bunch of different options of J Concepts tires to run on carpet track or even on your crawler or all the other different things that they have going on here at Northwest or to take home with you. Um, they also carry some products for uh, UTV racing and side-by-sides and, -side and stuff like that because that's another uh, venture that they kind of do here at Northwest is work on that type of thing. So they have some of those products here in the shop as well. Um, yeah, the shop is fully stocked, it's super big, and uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg for the Northwest Hobbies facility. Alright guys, we're on the other side of the hobby shop, and through this doorway we have the main pit area, and then that direction we have the actual carpet track that we're racing on this weekend. Uh, Northwest Hobbies has a, you know, a national or an international level carpet track. Uh, they hosted the Roar Nationals last year, they've hosted quite a few of our NCTS races, and they have an awesome layout this weekend. Um, we have. You know, well into the 14, 15, 16, 17 second laps. Um, the track's been awesome. Uh, we've had a great time and we're going to show you a little bit of that track and then we're going to show you some of the other things that they have going on here at the facility. So we're on the other side of the pit area that we were talking about before. This is where all the guys are pitting for the race this weekend. And uh, if you look to my left here, they have, we'll kind of walk this way because it'll be hard to see, but uh, they have a full on carpet oval track over here. Um, so once we get to the end of the driver's stand, you guys can kind of see it's super long, which is pretty cool. But uh, they have a carpet oval over here, um, and then they actually have a practice track for carpet off-road stuff. So if there's a race going on and you bring your kids or you bring somebody new that's never raced before, they have this track that they can use all day, uh, no matter if something's going on over there or not. Um, and then as you kind of continue over here, uh, these guys have a really cool drift track. They had some of the guys on the track earlier, they had lights and music and everything going. They've kind of shut down for the day. Um, and then there's actually a little practice drift track over on the other side of the facility as well. So all sorts of different things that you can do. You've got uh, the drift track, the practice track, crawler course, the hobby shop that's fully stocked with everything, um, and even the carpet oval track. So big thank you as always to um, Northwest Hobbies for hosting this, for having us, and we're gonna take some time to talk to Casey Vitali, the owner of Northwest here, and give you a little bit of insight on his facility and uh, why he owns an RC hobby shop and, and track and everything. So thank you guys for watching. Here with Casey Vitali, owner of Northwest Hobbies, and uh, you know, we're in this version of your track, which is incredible. We, in this video, we're gonna go through everything that's here. Um, but this wasn't your first track. How long have you owned a track and why did you want to own a track? Um, so the first part of it, this is our third building we've been in. Um, we've went from everything from early generation where we were still running on like more outdoor style dirt on the indoor tracks. Uh, then we switched to the clay hard pack stuff, realized, you know, it was the amount of work, time, effort that went into it was impossible to do when you have a family. So we ended up switching to carpet at our second location. Uh, we were there for a little over six years. Um, and then we moved here about three years ago now. So we've been in this location uh, for three years, total of 12 years of owning RC indoor tracks. And so we kind of saw, um, you know, as, as COVID was kind of ending or as that process was going through, uh, the ability for, for track owners to get these spots in uh, malls kind of popped up. So how's that been? Is it, is it kind of interesting, like being in this location with all these other things going on? Yeah, you know, it's super nice that, you know, if we're hungry or whatever, we can walk right to the food court. It's only, you know, 100 feet away from us. Um, there's adequate bathrooms, heating and air conditioning. Um, you know, it's kind of set up really well to be able to hold big events with having plenty of space and room. Uh, we got real lucky when we found this. This building actually sat vacant for like eight years before we got here. It was an old Sears building. Uh, so we, we came in. It wasn't no simple throw down some carpet and go. I mean, this place was rough, you know, leaking roofs and... Uh, you know, everything was just really beat up. So we had to go through every bit of it, including lighting and electrical and everything else through the building. But, you know, it's been good. Um, it's a whole different world when, you know, we went from essentially a pro shop that had rock crawler stuff and stuff as well um, with a racetrack. You know, racing was our primary thing. Where we came here and 
you know, it, it's kind of lost a little bit of its luster. Racing's not our primary thing to us anymore. Uh, the basher stuff, the crawler stuff, drifting is by far bigger for us. Um, you know, obviously we are still racers, so that's what we, we love, but, uh, you know, it, it's definitely a different clientele. You, you have to learn to deal with people that, you know, come in and don't, don't know anything at all about the industry or the tires or what car they have, you know, or battery plugs or any of that stuff where, when we were at the old location, you know, it was all four mil, five mil bullets and, you know, two cell lipos. So it, it was a learning curve for us to be able to adapt to what the new generation of what keeps the power bill on is. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, and then uh, kind of, you know, you have bits and pieces of it in here, but you have, um, you know, you do side-by-side -side stuff and, and some other things that aren't RC related, but still in the same building. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, when you when you got 90,000 feet, you know, you, you can't have just RC in there. So, um, we have our hobby shop, obviously, with our little tracks throughout the facility. Um, in the back, we actually have a UTV build shop. So, we do everything back there from mild to wild builds, light bar installs to full-blown race cars. Um, we also operate a UTV race team out of here as well. Um, I drive one. Uh, my dad drives. Uh, Robert Bacosi, who actually TQ'd, uh, I think he TQ'd 75 buggy today expert maybe maybe second yeah um, robert runs for us and he runs fantastic uh justin hall drives for us um, so that, that's a big part of it back there we also have a small engine repair company um so back in the very far this corner of the back of the building we do uh, everything from like chainsaws and weed eaters and stuff like that too yeah so big thank you to casey for letting us come here and host our races here and obviously check out this awesome facility um, we hope you guys like the video we hope you guys take some time to come check out northwest hobbies and we'll be back soon with more content